<laughs> Hello people, how's it going? So I'm gonna be starting a series where I basically show you some tutorials on the new vaults uh, mod for the for Minecraft, which is apart from a technic pack. And uh, this episode, I'm just going to teach you some basic. Uh, stuff about electricity and uh, how to power your machines and different uh, blocks. So, what I have in my hotbar is a battery box, a battery, an insulated tin wire, an imprinter. Wait, what? No, I'm not gonna use that. And uh, electric furnace. So, with those items, I'm going to show you how to uh, basically uh, get some electricity in your Minecraft world. So one thing I forgot to get is coal, which is really important and the most important thing in this uh, tutorial is the coal generator, which is right there. Alright, the coal generator is one of the more weak uh, producers of electricity, but it can be really useful if you're just starting out. When you right click it, it shows that the voltage is 120 and I think that's the same in take it. And as you can see here, we should add some coal so it starts generating so i'm gonna make like three of those and put uh some insulated tin wire at the back of them so the black uh square here means output and the and uh, if there is a red uh square it means input so you basically wanna connect these and to connect them to the to the battery box so it now inputs all the electricity into that battery box so if we put some coal in all of these they will start to fire up as a normal furnace will do and as you can see uh, the whole heat which uh, basically indicates uh, how much electricity is going to be producing so when it hits 100% it's going to start producing vats and of course they are uh, charge up and uh, all of the power from these coal generators is moved into the cables which goes into the battery box and as you can see here there's a kilojoules uh, generating and uh, it holds up to 4.0 megajoules I think that's the maximum and again the voltage is 120 now for example if you want to power a battery box and you don't want to use coal generators and for example you have a charged battery you just put the battery in there and uh, it should uh, it should give for example the, the the lower square is for it to give to the battery box some uh, some more kilojoules and the top one is to charge it as you can see here it's charging up so those are the basic ways to get electricity either way power uh, battery and use that to to power the battery box or just get some coal and uh, use coal generators to power your battery box now the battery box is uh, useful if you want to power different machines and blocks so now that we have that set up we are going to use the battery box which is about halfway full to power up an electric fence which is one of the most common things uh, used to power with the battery box so when you click the electric fence you can see that uh, it basically has the functions of a normal furnace and uh, smelts different kind of ores and again you can charge it with a battery so for example if we get a uh, fish an uncooked fish and place it there it's going to cook it using the battery's energy and there we go, it cooked the fish. Now if you don't want to use the battery and want to use the battery box, you just connect, connect it again and uh, of course you need to connect the cables so they go into the red output, I mean input. Always confuse those both. So now it's connected and the energy from the battery box is going to go to the, to the electric furnace. So again if we take a raw fish and put it there, it's going to cook that with the energy of the of the battery box. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. In part two, I'm going to show you some more advanced stuff and the different kind of blocks that you can uh, power using this method I just showed you. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a rating, and I'll be back with more tutorials later on.